fresh flowers can generate a smile in as little as 15 seconds. And you can generate lots of smiles with flowers arranged fresh from your garden or fresh from the florist. Hi, I'm Melinda Myers. Really arranging flowers is not as difficult as it seems. And remember, the flowers are going to steal the show no matter how you put them together. Now I think picking the vase is an important place to start. I like something simple so that my flowers really are the focal point. It should be in scale with your plants. I'm using these campanulas as my vertical accent and my main framework. And so the vase is about a third of the total height, maybe no more than a half, so that they're staying in scale. Now, a lot of times you'll watch florists do arrangements and they fill the vase with greens before or after. And it's a good way to add that basic backdrop for your flowers. It takes up more space, so if your flowers are limited in numbers, you can use your greenery to help fill in those voids. I like to just take a few. Notice I'm having no leaves going under the water because leaves under water add to bacterial problems and shorten the life of your cut flowers. Now that we've got them arranged, now we're ready to put in the flowers. Again, I've recut the stem on a slight angle so that it'll last longer. And now I just start creating my framework with my main flowers, the campanulas. And you know what? Don't be afraid to cut the stems. Garden scissors, hand clippers are a great way to really take care of it. Now I've loved the color combination of purple and pink. So complementing my campanulas, I'm going to add some alstroemerias. And notice I'm just using a very simple design and I'm reworking it as I go. Because sometimes I find out, eh, should have cut it a little shorter. So simply pull it out, sometimes easier than others, remove any of those lower leaves, I'm going to shorten that stem a bit, and pop it right in here. Sometimes I find designing in a vase is a little trickier because you don't have that oasis or florist foam to help hold it in place. Again, remove those lower stems, and I'm just then staggering in, putting some Alstroemeria's long-lasting flowers in between my Campanula for added color. Check that out. Sometimes I'll check it outside the vase before I stick it in. Now we've got kind of our basic framework, and we're going to fill in with some carnations. I like miniature carnations because they're long-lasting, and they really look nice, and they're small scale so that they work well. And so we're going to pop a few in here and there and add some interest, okay? And you can keep doing this all the way throughout the arrangement. Then the last thing I want to do is add a few more greens because now I find out, okay, I want to cover up the stems of these flowers and dress it up just a bit. And it's a great way to help brighten up and spruce up your arrangement, keeping the flowers as the focal point. The greens help exemplify it. And you just finish this off until you're happy. Be sure to turn it around and so you get a view from all sides. I like to do my flower arranging standing up or from the same level that it's going to be viewed. Now, you're feeling a little overwhelmed or my arrangements never turn out quite right. I'll tell you one of my secrets, baby's breath. You know, when you go to a florist and buy a rose, they usually frame it with baby's breath. It really covers up errors, but it also really makes those roses stand out. So the roses are our focal point, and we're just using baby's breath and greenery to fill in. I think it makes any arrangement look beautiful. Now, a lot of times we're worried about putting a ribbon in, whether it's a, a really strict arrangement or we're giving as a gift, and making ribbons can be very easy. Now, I just use this Christmas ribbon for an example because it's nice and big. And basically, figure out how long you want the part hanging down, pinch, make a loop, pinch, make a loop, and just keep repeating. The more loops you put, the fuller it is. And we're going to just keep repeating. That's going to be our other tail on the ribbon. A little florist wire, very easy. Tighten it up. The tighter you make it, the fluffier your ribbon. Okay, and then we can use this to put in our arrangement. Cut off the other tail. And then just foof it up a bit and you've got a beautiful bow that will look great in any arrangement or even on a gift package. Now it sounds like a lot of work and you're thinking, how can I get my kids excited or involved? Well, I have this fun craft that I've done with children that love it. Basically cut out a vase from corrugated cardboard decorate it any way you want, and then take dried or silk flowers and stick them through the holes in the top. It's kind of a ready-made frog, a fun activity for all gardeners of all ages to enjoy. In this way, you have a good memory, preserve your flowers, and everyone can get involved. So go out in the garden, gather some fresh flowers, find a clean vase, and get started arranging your way to a beautiful interior garden bouquet.